It's Friday, fool, and you need this tool. Welcome back to another glorious episode of It's Friday Fool, You Need This Tool. My name is Kyle Voss, and on Fridays, I bring you a tool. A tool that I use here in this shop, or that I have featured on this channel. So, as I move into this shop, start getting organized, and trying to just build a better space than I ever had before, what you're probably gonna find is a lot of tools I bring you over the next year, maybe, will be more about that than say a specific tool, something that turns or powered or drills holes or cuts stuff, bends things. And really, this week is no different. And this is kind of like a no-brainer tool, but it was one of those things that for whatever reason, I never had one. And I don't know why, I should have had some. I should have had like five of these. But now that I'm in trying to move in this space is definitely, we use these on everything really, Every, everything. And that is the foot activated power switch. So we kind of set the mood for you. You have a power tool that sits, in a, sits on a table, sits in a station. It just sits somewhere all the time and you don't necessarily want to turn that thing on and off with your hands all the time. In comes the foot activated power switch. You basically just have this thing always wired in. You have that tool on. So for instance, my portaban. My portaban stand that I've got, it kind of works like a vertical bandsaw. Used to, I'd have to clamp the trigger, cut what I'm cutting, unclamp the trigger, and then, yeah. Now, I can just wire this in series, walk over to the station, I got a piece of metal I need to cut, hit with my foot, I can cut that metal. As I'm done, lift my foot off, I can go about my business. Thing's always on ready, it's always ready to rock and roll. Particularly, the unit I have right here is the Treadlight 2. And I will say right off the bat, when I got this thing, the quality, the quality of this product is way better in person than I thought it would be. I mean, the pedal feels very substantial, very uh, good feel on the press, good click. The cable itself is super thick and strong. It's got like grippy stuff on the bottom and the top, both sides. Not very big, so it's like smaller than my hand. And I'm guessing the way that these things work is they just interrupt one of the power supply wires. So if I had to guess, one travels straight through the plug, the other one goes through the switch and back out the other side of the plug. And so you just plug this in the wall, and then you plug whatever it is you wanna run on the other side of this, and it will not operate until you give it the old clicky clicky. The other thing that's really great about these things is that, well, they're not that expensive. And I think maybe that's partly why I was so surprised on the quality in person, was because I was kind of expecting a little bit less based on the price. Now, that being said, I will tell you, I haven't used this. You know, it doesn't have like hundreds of hours of use on it. Uh, so I can't really speak to long-term durability. I can speak to the fact that it feels very, very good. And for the price, I mean, literally if it lasts a couple months, a year, uh, it was worth every penny. And I, I truly feel that it's gonna last a lot longer than that. It just feels like a really good piece. So the cable on this thing, I'm guessing, is about eight foot, so it kind of reaches to any length you need it. Uh, me personally, I don't like to plug in the wall. I like to have an extension cord coming down to this, have all this cable kind of under the table, under the workbench, under the welding fixture tape, whatever it is that you're using, have all this stuff kind of underneath it, out of the way, tuck all these up. The other good thing is now, I can kind of zip tie all this stuff up because I can mount it permanently. I don't have to move it. So yeah, pretty stoked about these. Got two of them, so I've got one on my vertical bandsaw, my portaband, 
that I've made a vertical bandsaw table for. And then I've got one on my tungsten grinder. So I'm welding, I dip some tungsten as I do all the time because, well, now I don't have to pull my tungsten out, run over there, hit the pedal, sharpen it up, let off, right back to welding. Same thing with the porta band. I'm gonna cut something, I got a measurement, whatever. I don't need to let go of the piece that I've had to kind of set things up. Just walk over there, hit the switch with my foot, cut what I need to cut, right back to work. If I remember correctly, I think these things were right about the $20 mark. Uh, I just bought them on Amazon, as I always do. I'll drop you some links in the description. You can go check these out for yourself. If you've got something that you feel like it's very similar to what I've been talking about where you kind of have to like fire that thing up every time you want to use it and having it foot operated is going to be a much easier way to do it. This is your, this is your, this is your secret. This is, this is going to fix those problems. So I will say right on here it has listed 15 amps, half horsepower. So I guess that matters depending on what you're trying to run. Big huge drill press may not be the best thing for this. All right, guys, there you go. The foot operated power switch. I guess that's the technical name. You know me, I'm not all about technical this and that. I just give it to you real. Might make someone's life much easier out there. As always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more this week. It's Friday, fool.